This is the time. Every every uh, few years, we have to become expert in the flags of Jamaica, Kenya, Germany, many other countries. If we want to really get to grips with German <laughs> politics, help every under everybody understand what what I'm talking about, Maria. <laughs> Which are the coalition options uh, that are gaining traction? Yes, Anna, you know, it's, it's very hard. I think there's about eight different options, five different parties that statistically, mathematically could get into uh, this coalition. But there is one in particular that is really gaining momentum, especially in the uh, political debate here in Berlin, and that is the traffic lights uh, coalition. A lot of that would assume that uh, the SPD wins the election. By the way, Anna, we just had a new poll that is putting the SPD on 25 percent uh, in the election, so cementing uh, that lead and would be in this hypothetical traffic lights coalition also joined by the Greens and the Liberals in Germany. That is a coalition, as I said, that's really driving the political conversation here in Germany. It is seen as the option that Olaf Scholz would favor if he were to win the election. Polls continue to say that will be the case when we get to September 26. It will be Olaf Scholz, the next chancellor, but the coalition making will be a very difficult process because, Anna, when you look at the Greens, they have said that for them, hitting those climate targets is a crucial point. For the liberals, they say that this is about not increasing taxes and that some of those climate targets would be detrimental for the German industry. So this is a very tricky balance of power that Olaf Scholz will have to or would have to oversee. And it's a very complicated uh, mix of different parties to put together. You know, it's the additional difficulty that it's not just two different groups working together, but the fact that we're heading into a three-way coalition. Yeah, and one of those contenders, uh, the Free uh, Democratic Party, Christians uh, Lindner, uh, increasingly seen as a kingmaker, Maria. Uh, what, what, is the, what is happening with that party and how could they play a role here? Yeah, look, he is. And uh, again, this really signals this huge change in dynamic that we've seen in the German election. You know, just a few weeks ago, it was all about Annalena Baerbock and the Greens. Now it's pretty clear that they would have a very strong incentive to join a government, whether it's led by Olaf Scholz or Armin Laschet. The Greens can work with both. So the focus is now on the third party, and that is uh, Christian Lindner. If you remember uh, in 2017, that coalition with the CDU, they blew up that government government uh, agreement. At the time, Christian Lindner said it's better to not enter a government than enter a bad government. The incentive, however, is that that type of operation carries so much risk that he may not be inclined to repeat that, to not facilitate a government for the second time.